Hello everyone. I am Praveen BR, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering from Sai Vidya Institute of Technology, teaching you all microcontroller lab programs for fifth semester electrical and electronics engineering students. The subject code is 18 EEL 57 for 2018 scheme and for 2017 scheme, the same programs are there. So 17 EEL 57 is the subject code. So let us proceed with the program. So in this video, we are going to write an assembly language program to generate a binary up counter. So let us see how to generate a binary up counter. So to generate a binary up counter, we use Keel Microvision software. How do we start with Keel Microvision software? Step one is press on Keel Microvision. Step two, in the project tab, go to the new Microvision project. Here in the file name, I will give it as binary up, which indicates that I am writing a program for binary up counter. After entering, please press save button. Here I have to choose the vendor and the device. The vendor I choose here is the microchip and device I choose is in the search window, I type 8089C51ED2, which is compatible with 8051 programming for the Keel Microvision software. So select this device that is 8089C51ED2. After selecting, press OK. Since we are not interfacing this Keel Microvision, with the outside world, that is the any other external kits or external software, we need not store the image. We need not copy the image of the file. Hence, we click on no. So now let us write the program. Where do we write the program? In the editor window. But editor window is not enabled. How do you enable the editor window? We'll go to the file in the menu. We'll select new, which enables the editor window. Here, I am going to write the program. So this is the program I have written for the up counter, binary up counter. After writing the program, again, I go to the file, tab. I choose save as. I'm going to type here as binary up dot ASM, which indicates that I am creating a assembly programming file. Dot ASM is the extension for assembly programming file. Therefore, I type the file name with dot ASM. After typing it, I click on save. This is how we get the file. Now, let us create or let us generate the crystal frequency of 11.0591 megahertz. How do we do that? In the project window, under target one, right click on target one. You get many options. In that, select the first option, options for target. Under crystal frequency, which is by default 33.0, Select 11.0591. In the output tab, you have many tabs here. You go to the output tab. Create hex file will be unchecked. You have to click on this to check it and press OK. Next, I have to add this file to the given project. How do I add it? I expand target one. Under project window, I get source group one. I write, I click on, right click on source group one. I am adding the existing file to this project. So the existing file, I type here, add existing file to the group. I have already created binary up.asm. I choose binary.asm and I click on add 
once and press close. So this says that I have already created, I have added the file to this given project. Now I check for any errors. If there are any errors, it will show in build output. So in the menu bar, there is an icon called translate. I click on the translate icon. It says there are no errors and no warnings. Next to the translate icon, I have build icon, which links the hex file to the given project. I have a rebuild icon next to the build to complete this process. Now I would like to check the output. So I go to the debug in the menu bar. I click on start stop debug session. I get a dialog box. I press OK. I get this. Where do I see the output? The output is viewed in a special window. Where do you find that special window? In the menu, the third tab is view. So go to view. In the view, there are many windows. So we have to go to the watch window or the call stack window, which is already available here. I'll go to the view. I have watch one here. So after going to the call stack window, that is call, there is a window which is called as call stack window here. I press F2. I press F2. I write over here accumulator. It shows like this, which indicates that I'm starting in the watch one window. Then I start run. You can observe in the watch one window that it has started counting. So you can observe A is the accumulator which is started counting. How do we say it is a binary up counter? It is adding the numbers and it's a binary number which is getting added and which goes up to EFS. So hence we call this as binary up counter. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.